Hey, hey, Vash, 31st of August, 2019. And I pray that I can just relay this to you. It's come upon me with a time sensitivity. I, I don't know exactly what it all means, but it's very unusual, and it led to some very eye-opening connections and patterns, and I just need to share these things with you. Use your discernment. It's getting harder and harder to do these things. There's just so much going on, you guys. If you don't know Jesus by now, you better get to it, because I'm telling you, these things are coming, right? So anyway, Trump cancels this trip to Poland, which is very interesting because Poland is a very key ally right next to Russia, so on and so forth. And he cancels this trip in order to go to Camp David and direct this all of a sudden major storm in Dorian. You know what I mean? Very odd things to connecting to this once again, you know? And, and he sends Pence instead, and they're going to be discussing 5G over there. They're going to sign a contract, a pact, a, a, some sort of agreement about 5G. So that's just strange in and of itself. And then last week, you know, it comes out that Trump was asking why we don't just nuke hurricanes. That, that's just bizarre. You know what I mean? None of it makes sense, but it does in its own right, because we know in the spiritual warfare realm, that these everything is relevant there there's always a reason for everything there's nothing new under the sun this is building towards the next world war the new world order so on and so forth now dorian is expected to hit florida on the first monday labor day and I, this is kind of funny i i see this article telling us about how there are 668,000 homes at risk from this hurricane, just one away from 669. And, and that's important because of the patterns that appeared in all of this, right? The calm before the storm, right? 10-5-2017, that's when Trump made that statement, if you will. If we go to 9-1, to Labor Day, it's 696 days, ironically, the 69. This is just what I'm seeing, you guys. 99 weeks and 3 days. The 93, as in Flight 93. As in Adam, 930. Because they're mocking it. They're, they're waiting on their Messiah. They're trying to bring in their Messiah in order to obtain the right to the Tree of Life. And they're delusional. Okay? So, this is just all connected to the 9-11 you know, in 2001, Bush invoked Psalm 23. In 2011, Obama invoked Psalm 46. So it only leads to reason that the next 9-11, someone is going to invoke Psalm 69. And the very first verse of Psalm 69 reads, Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. Okay? Well, think about it. The waters, the hurricane. Dorian actually means child of the sea, right? And if you put that into the Gematria, the English, the six count, okay? You're going to get 690. The word for 690 in the Hebrew concordance is lion. And that's going to come into play here in a second, okay? Now, September 1st marks the 80th anniversary of the Nazi invasion into Poland. And Trump is canceling his visit there, a long planned visit, mind you, you just don't do that. That, that has to have some precedence, you know, for a president to cancel a trip of that magnitude in order to direct the storm response. You know what I mean? I'm just saying there's so many fishy things to this. I came across this time headline. That that's what their headline was on September 1st was storming, <laughs> storming into Poland. That was Time Magazine's headline, September 1st, 1939. And I found this here in this edition of Time that came out on March 30th, 2003. 80 days that changed the world. And you know that Time Magazine uh, came into being in 1923. That's when they started. 96 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Storming into Poland. 
Hitler invaded Poland. World War II began on that day. We know that these wars are all contrived. It's just a fact. And the next one is on the doorstep. And I pray you're in Christ to escape what's coming upon this earth. But yeah, they put out that uh, edition of time on uh, 3-30-2003. And the Labor Day, right? Get a load of this. Five, H5-5-9-9-9, five, five, nine, 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 right? Is a mall or a labor. And that's the, the word for labor we find in Psalm 90-10 which talks about the generation and the 80 years is their strength in labor and sorrow. You see what I'm saying? Mischief, miserable, perverseness. This is that word, but 5,999 days. Just get a load of this. I, I can't explain it. It's just the way it is, you guys. You know what I mean? I have to show you these things or else, you know, I'll just burst. 5,999 days brings you to March 30th, 2003, from 9-1-2019, Labor Day, 5-9-9-9, Labor, Psalm 90-10-9-1, September 1st, 80 years since the storming into Poland. I mean, come on, and Trump cancels the trip to go to Camp David, which is interesting in and of itself. In the connections to this, to Daniel 7, the lion. Remember I showed you the lion was 690? Well, get a load of this. This is just insane to me. If you look at your Google Earth, okay, just check this out. And you take the eastern portion of the United States, the eastern seaboard, and you turn it upside down, okay, so that south is at the top, so on and so forth you find a face of a lion. There's all the states and everything right there. That's, that's what it is, you guys. I'm just telling you that's what it is. That is the face of a lion right there. The eastern seaboard. And it's even more than that. You just can't, you can't get over that stuff, you guys. Really, come on now. And it's even more than that, though, because if you expand out to the whole eastern seaboard, let me shrink this down a little more so you can get a little more of a, a look there. That's crazy to me. But if you shrink down this uh, image, go all the way out, and you can see Florida now, that's a horn. Florida becomes a horn on this lion man-faced beast. And Washington, D.C. is right in the mouth. And Camp David is right here. Isn't that kind of crazy to you? It is to me. But there it is. I mean, I got to show you this stuff when it's shown to me. You know what I mean? And all these scriptures relate to what I'm talking about. All of it. All of it. Everything. So, I just wanted to share this with you because this Storm Dorian... The whole scenario stinks. So just be always in Christ because it's coming. Praise God. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 